you're going to be playing Madison. Sure am. Daughter of Kylie and Jason, which everyone loved them. <laughs> it's such an iconic character, but you're obviously new to the soap. I guess I do feel a little bit of pressure because um, it's Scott and Charlene and they're like neighbours royalty. So I have a feeling that people will be paying a bit of a closer eye on to Madison's character. So I, I, get it's, I guess it's a bit um, of pressure, but I'm definitely excited and I feel privileged. And is Madison going to be a troublemaker or is she going to be a nice, a nice girl? No, Madison's a sweetheart. She's very lighthearted and caring. Um, I think you don't have to worry about Madison. She's a sweetie. Neighbours have definitely upped the ante with the boys. Mm -hmm. Very recently, we've got the Brennans, they are <laughs> the hot guys to, I think, ever grace uh, <laughs> soaps, ever. Um, but are we going to see any kind of love, do you think, for Madison? You've got your brother there, who's going to be, Daniel Robinson, going to be keeping an eye on you, I'm sure. But do you think that's something that's going to be a storyline um, along the way? Madison does um, have a little bit of love on the show and in her time on Ramsey Street. But I think she's more focused kind of on her career. And, um, and she's very sophisticated, she's studying journalism, so um, she does have a job on the show, so I think she's more focused on that, but she does have a little bit of a love interest. Uh, interesting. Who's she going to be staying with? Um, she's staying with Daniel and I can't say. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I thought maybe she might go into Carl and Susan's house because that's where everyone seems to go and stay when they first join Neighbours. Um, I do want to talk about Carl and Susan. Eddie Redmayne had said before, when he won his Oscar, he was like, these guys are like the best actors on TV. He learnt so much from them. Wow. And I was wondering whether, when you've met them, whether they gave you any advice or what it was like even meeting these guys, because they are legends of soap. I actually don't have any scenes with them that I've shot so far, um, but I have met them both in the green room backstage and they're the most lovely people. I think the entire Neighbours cast have just been so, so completely supportive and friendly and honestly I've, I've only shot um, a few weeks with them so far, but I, I couldn't have seen it going better. It's, my, it's been my first uh, significant TV role, um, so it's my first time really acting and um, I really did need the support because I was super nervous and everyone was just there for me and giving me tips so yeah couldn't have gone better. Oh well you're not you're not new to being in front of the camera though because you do you've done vlogging a I've lot. I've done a little bit of okay. vlogging more um, creating content on my website and for my social media channels. Do you see yourself as a bit of a role model? Um, well I would hope so I do feel a bit of a responsibility um, because I know that a lot of my followers are quite young. Um, so I, I would hope so. Well, um, we saw the selfie, which is what everyone saw, you <laughs> and Kylie, which got the whole ball rolling, got everyone really excited. I know I was excited seeing it. Um, so you've obviously met Kylie, but have you met Jason? Because I haven't seen a selfie with Jason. I haven't met Jason. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, I have met Jason. Okay. I met him um, uh, about two weeks ago. I surprised him on the one show. <gasps> Yeah, so that was really exciting and it was quite funny as well because I had never met him before and I don't think he really knew who I was. But I came on the show and I was like, hey dad, <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> I love that. Have you managed to, or do you think you'll be able to convince them to possibly make an appearance on the show? Either I sure hope so. So if they're watching this right now, I would come back on the show. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I would love to see that. Me I would, too. I would love to see that. Do, did you ever imagine obviously being from Australia being on a soap like Neighbours and Home and Away or anything like that did you ever imagine you was could end up there? It was definitely a dream mm. it, uh, acting was something that um, I definitely had uh, a passion for but never knew if I could really take it seriously um, and then I started getting an acting coach and acting lessons every week and um, and really just studying the art because it is an art and um, and yeah, and here we are. <laughs> and do you think you see your career? Because when I was told that we could we could have some time with you and, and sit and talk to you, I kind of got Margot Robbie vibes off you. Like I can see you <laughs> emulating her career because oh obviously my gosh, starting that's off like in the biggest compliment. It, Thank that, you. That's, uh, that's why I was so keen to come and speak to you because I thought I can see you one day doing that. So is that something you kind of hope to do? Oh, definitely. I think Margot Robbie is just on another level and she's so successful and I would love to follow in her footsteps. I mean, I fangirl over her. I was wondering who, 
who you kind of fangirl over, who's who's a big inspiration to you and you get excited um, by seeing. I think I saw you tweet, um, is it Olivia? Um, Palermo? Yeah, yeah, you did. I do love her in yep. the fashion world. In the acting world, it would probably have to be Jennifer Lawrence. I think she is incredible in The Hunger Games. Have you met her? You haven't met her? Haven't met her. Oh, one day. One day. <laughs> and um, what has been the best experience so far for the, for you, for this whole thing? On, on Neighbours? Well, or from obviously being an internet sensation and then getting the call from Neighbours and <gasps> I guess going round and being able to promote it and yeah. this, so what's been the best experience so I far? think being able to travel, like I have a massive passion for travelling as well and just seeing the world and I've been able to go to Fiji and New York and LA and London and Paris, I just got back from Paris yesterday so being able to travel is definitely a perk. Well, I can't wait to see your neighbours. Thank you. I'm hoping you come back and see us again when you've like you've of done course. a bit on there. Of course. And we'll definitely chat to you again and we'll see where this career is heading. <laughs> I think Hollywood is definitely the future. <laughs> Sarah, lovely to meet you. Thank lovely you. to meet you. Thanks for having me.